Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Captain Rock Savage here with you on another video showcasing another application that I do use in my Microsoft Flight Simulator streams. Now, this application was acquired about a couple weeks ago, and honestly, it has made a drastic change to the visuals of my flight simulator. Now, some of you are probably wondering what exactly I'm talking about. Well, here it is. It's called AccuSeason. AccuSeason is a phenomenal application that I have discovered a couple weeks ago, and I am so glad that I picked up this application, and it has drastically changed the immersion of the simulator. And one of the main things that this is doing is essentially replacing trees and ground textures with current seasonal time frames. And what that'll mean is, is right now we're kind of into that fall time and we'll obviously show you a couple of different areas of exactly what I'm talking about with different uh, seasonal changes. And for right now, as you guys can see, uh, this application it has a couple different presets that you could do uh, or, or different uh, options that you have the ability uh, to select. So we'll go through this application, but essentially what this does is replaces the trees um, with these application trees and I'll show you exactly how it all works, but you get to choose exactly what the trees look like within the simulator or as you can see, there's this option here called automation and you can actually just set it and literally forget it. Um, it literally will inject everything based on the time of the seasons based on the date uh and everything like that which is really really cool and that's exactly uh actually the 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 part of the application that i use and i don't do any of the presets or select by date or anything like that. now one of the things uh that i'm going to show you guys is this application itself so obviously you have your alt uh, automation section where you can go ahead and select it and it literally does exactly what it does <laughs> set and forget you don't have to ever come back into the application it'll just automatically go ahead and upload everything you need you have options for presets as well as select by date where you could choose different uh, times of the year by selecting the dates and different presets based on the time of the year as well so a couple different options if I go to the automation here you can go ahead and select this it'll ask you uh, when you want to dynamically install the updates I have it selected 12 a.m. and I have step two on and I also enable the terrain installation now that's gonna play a big role in it you'll see the differences um, when we are traveling around and you can see the different types of options and different types of uh, colors that the ground show uh, when that's enabled Vegetation, as obviously you could see we're in the fall time of the year right now where you could see the trees are more of that orangey red and green, even darker browns, uh, a bunch of different types of colors, which is really cool. And you can go ahead and apply these right to the sim if you wish, um, based on whatever you want to choose. Like if this is like something you really like for that time of the year, you can go ahead and select that and just install this specific preset, or you can have it set to auto. Winter selections, obviously you're going to have more bare trees up in the north where you're going to have more desolate looking trees with just snow on them, um, as well as like the winter chill. You've got some of these trees that don't necessarily lose their leaves. They look full, but it just looks dim out, right? And that's what's really cool is that you lose a lot of that green color. Things just look dormant, which is really cool about the winter setting. You go into the spring, you start to see that that burst of life within the vegetation as you see the purple starting to feed in here the the greenery is starting to really come back obviously this application does really well for these parts of the months obviously in the summertime i don't know if we're going to see necessarily that much difference in the summertime uh compared to what the sim already offers considering everything is already really green but it's obviously an option that it'll automatically inject if you set it to like not having to deal with anything and just doing it to the automation We'll go over to the terrain. You can see the differences in fall. Um, right now, fall, you can start to see the, the ground is starting to go dormant. The grass is starting to get dormant. It's not quite there, but you could tell that the grass is starting to change. Things just look a little less green compared to what the standard Microsoft Flight Simulator look like. All right, so now over to the winter section, you can go ahead and see how it gets very desolate. Um, you can obviously see that it, it's it's got a very dormant look. Now, Microsoft Flight Simulator's winter tiles on the ground should I say doesn't really change uh, other than when you get snow on there so this will definitely help kind of dumb down the green a little bit uh, around the world which should be a very cool feature to see uh, at least for the areas where winter is definitely more precedent than uh, when you are in like some places near the south where maybe the the vegetation doesn't change as much 
They do have different types of weather settings you guys can set as well. I haven't really used this feature, but you can go ahead and, and go through these different types of options. Obviously, all of these are going to have a little bit of a different look based on the times of the year, which is really cool. And it's just kind of cool that you can apply these to the sim and have the, uh, the presets kind of set in, which is really cool. Over to the enhancements page, you have this ability to enhance the content around. So North Australia, coastal region, it'll enhance the areas based on vegetation as well as St. Bart's, which is really cool. So you have the ability to update that. Uh, Southeast coastal and Florida, which is really cool. I, I use this option personally for the, the US side of things. Colorado Aspirin, another really cool place that um, allows you to inject certain types of trees based on those areas and different time frames and allows you to basically, you know, get to get a full immersion based on those areas. Coming to the options page, you're going to have a whole different set of options here. You can refine your vegetation coloring. As you guys can see, you can set to cool colors, neutral colors, warm colors. Uh, this is all presets. This is exactly what I just left it. Um, I didn't change really anything here uh, I, i've kept it this way I, I personally think this all looks really really good without this within the sim i'm not really going to change any of the options you do have settings here this is obviously where you could choose where your customized uh folder is going to go and you can basically set up any little minor things like enable uh, application automatic updates right here and uh, en enable system logging if you so choose um, but that's pretty much the application in a nutshell. Not uh, not too hard to explain, pretty easy to understand. Let's get into showing you some of the different regions of what this time of the year, which we're sitting right now as of October 19th. Uh, so we're starting to get into that fall time. So right now we're here in Provo, which is uh, just south of Salt Lake City. And we are basically just on the outside. We're gonna take a look around and show you guys exactly what the vegetation looks like here in Provo. Now, obviously you guys can see that we are looking at currently the fall colors and, and trees are really starting to turn here uh, to different colors. And it really is creating a very beautiful landscape. And you can see even in the mountains in the background that you even have a red tint to them um, obviously different times of the year you're going to see different uh, different colors and trees but really you start to notice that color change throughout the scenery which really 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 ties in to that time of the season and really helps with the immersion when coming in on an approach somewhere where you know obviously it's not always perfectly green all times of the year especially in an area where it gets a lot of snow so obviously this time of the year right now we're seeing that red fallish color uh, which is really bringing out the immersion here in a beautiful uh, South uh, Salt Lake. So we'll go ahead and hop into a different uh, area. For instance, we're going to head over to JFK over in New York and take a look over there. All right. So welcome here to New York. We are currently at JFK, just kind of slowly going around the airport. And you can see even the vegetation around the airport scenery tends to change as well so it's not just overlapping anywhere around like the general areas it's also going to do your airports as well as long as there's vegetation being used from the simulator it's going to go ahead and also change those up as well so as you can see uh currently it's 5 51 p.m over in new york and you can kind of see the the change in the time of year obviously it's uh very fallish and as you can see, it's very, very red, very similar to almost Provo. I would say it's a little bit darker here um, as vegetation vegetation is just a little bit different. Um, but I would say overall looks pretty, pretty, pretty accurate. Honestly, it looks really, really good. And uh, the, the immersion aspect of, like I said, for those of you that really want to take your sim to the next level and really care about the graphical changes as far as your scenery, um, this is definitely an application for you. So let's go ahead and check out downtown New York and check out uh, Madison Square Garden. Uh, all right, so as you guys can see, we are here in downtown New York City and the Empire State Building right there. And as you can see, the, the Accu season is really kicking in down here. You know, normally without Accu season, it's very, very green. Uh, and, and you really see the full green <laughs> effect in these kind of areas. But as you can see uh, here, 
in downtown New York. It's got a very fall vibe, and really, it does a great job. Honestly, it looks amazing. Um, the, the the graphics of everything uh, from downtown city to just having that fall color really brings in that beautiful, you know, scenic vibe, and and really does a great job. And I, I like I said, it, it is a huge immersion change uh, for those of you that don't maybe have something like this application um this truly does very much so bring a a whole new aspect to the flight simulator and you can see right here just looking out like how beautiful this is and obviously you can imagine at different times of the year this is going to get even better i can't imagine what winter time is going to look like um and ultimately what what a great application here We'll go check out one more place and uh, go ahead and wrap up this video for you guys just to show you another application that I am currently using. All right, so now we are here in a different part of the United States here in Tampa, Florida, where we are currently overlooking the area of Tampa where we could see that the fall colors are not so necessarily much noticeable here where obviously vegetation is going to be a lot different here you're not really going to get those red colors and this is just kind of to show you guys that it's not just an overlay for everywhere okay this isn't like when fall sets in it's going to set changes to all the trees around the world no matter where the location of your uh, specific departure or arrival is this is just to show you guys that it still can stay you know very green regardless if uh, we're getting into those winter months of the year or that time frame of the year but just to show you guys exactly what it looks like obviously you guys can see that we are we still have very much so green um you know green trees and all of that now yes uh we are using the msfs map enhancement for google so just to, just so you know um if the ground textures look a little bit different based on just what you guys see in your sim that could be very much so the uh, the difference um, now remember that our application does have terrain tiles on where it's going to alter terrain tiles based on you know if if things are a little bit more dormant and i'm not exactly sure if that's really going to play necessarily a big factor here as you guys can see it's it's still pretty green in these areas and with the msfs map google enhancement you're not going to really notice uh that extreme green that we all see from uh bing maps so just to keep that in mind here um overall i hope you guys really took away something good here from this video on the application i hope uh, all of you guys go and pick up a copy of it like i said so worth it the the app is very user friendly very easy to uh to navigate as well as setting this up the, the fact that you can go ahead and literally simply click one automation button and that's it it's it's really such a such a simple application that really does a great job of changing your scenery making it very immersive and really bringing you guys a little bit more life here into the simulator my name is Captain Rock Savage. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again so much. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Captain Rock Savage, the same name. Thanks again so much. Stay safe and have fun flying. We'll see you guys on the next video.